फ्रेंड्स 604 डेज ओवर इन द मीन टाइम फ्रॉम पैलेस्टीन इजरायली वॉर फ्रंट इराकी हिजबुल्ला अनाउंस्ड वॉर अगेंस्ट इजराइल एंड यूएस इन सपोर्ट ऑफ हमास एज द टाइम इज पासिंग इजरायलीज वॉर प्लेन्स एंड अदर मोड ऑफ वेपन डिलीवरी सिस्टम इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग हमास UN experts have said that Israel is committing crime against humanity in Gaza. There is a risk of a genocide. And also the Israeli claim that missile came from Hamas on the hospital is refuted all around. Gaza strip casualty has crossed 3900 killed including 1000 children while 13300 are injured. on israeli side the number of killed have reached to 1400 director of institute for international strategic affairs elena panina says without opening a second or third front against israel gaza is doomed although everything will not be easy for tel aviv but clearing this sector will only be a matter of time she further adds that in such a situation key decision to open a second front remains with iran and of course the most powerful enemy of israel which has access to border of it lebanese hezbollah is also focused on it she concludes telephonic conversation between head of general staff of iranian armed forces and head of russian defense minister and qatar is not per chance but i doubt that putin will allow this to happen from ukraine on southern border from kherson ukrainians assaulted krinky and entered the villages and also towards west near railway bridge the ukrainian hold their position and strengthening their bridgeheads towards aleshkinsky island more ukrainian reinforcements are pouring it and they are also clearing pasha nivka where they had entered seems ukrainians are planning attack on oleshki and novaya kharkova in near future on zaporizhia front nothing very special pyati khatki no changes verbov and kopani direction limited offensive by ukrainian forces but no gains on urikho sector in entirety no changes in rimivki salient ukrainians activities limited offensive again however they made some small advances in gray zone west of novodonetsk on the eastern front isw says that russian army made some gains towards north of spartak which is 4 km south of avdivka and novomykolivka which is 10 km southwest otherwise in avdivka front active fight is on in both north and south direction after some relatively calm period rfa has advanced though limited in north towards m30 road and reached railway station a railway station called 450 km funny name in north russian army also captured mining spoil heap and ukrainian army retreated behind the railway track towards bodichi direction the ukrainian army carried out counter attacks and russians withdrew behind the railway track towards pirvomaisky a large number of concentration of ukrainian forces have been seen and it seems that the ukrainians are planning a major counter attack here Bakhmut front fight is continuing towards Orekho Vasilivka and Zaliznyansky direction in southern flank Klishivka and Drivka Kurdimovka line fight is continuing however Russian army is holding its defense line on railway line Ugledar Marinka no significant changes in north on Kharkiv front ISW says that Russian army made confirmed advances towards north of Ivanivka which is 19 km southeast of Kupiansk and north of Spartak
on Swatovo Kupyansk direction, Russian army made some gains towards west from Swatovo to Oskil river direction and also on Makivka front. Liman, Ukrainians launched close to half a dozen of assaults, basically hit and withdraw tactical operations, but incurring losses to its own side. Both sides are using interdiction missions. Russians launch attacks on Ukrainian targets in central and eastern Ukraine, Pavlograd, Sumy, while Ukrainians are continuing their newly acquired long-range weapons, using them. Biden has called 100 billion funding to Israel and Ukraine, a smart investment for America. Yes, it is investment for war industries and Biden is nothing but their old and senile puppet. Kazakh Vice Minister of Trade has announced ban on export of various goods to Russia subject to the sanctions by US and NATO forces. And that's the end of my video today. Thanks.